can talk about this news this news is fucking crazy to me and absolutely blows my mind um i'm not very much clued up when it comes to american football but i know some of the bigger stars in it and i know that fucking tom brady is regarded as an absolute goat and i know that he's married to one of you know a lady who at one point was regarded as you know the number one model in the world to the point where she was making far 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 much far more money than he was even at the height of his career and they look fucking amazing picture perfect couple this american star this brazilian hottie makes complete sense and you know she'd be completely infatuated or gripped herself in nfl also is always at the game supportive they got three lovely kids everything's going well pick a friend's family doing the lord's work and then i guess he came he came back maybe from two retirements i think tom brady i think it might have been two or oh, big up the subscription there i think it might have been two or something along those kind of lines but either way you come back um and it looks like since he's come back, all the issues have basically sprung off the back of that. Maybe this final announcement that he was meant to retire, then he changed his mind again, is what maybe caused it. But the basic tenant of this is that they're finally divorced now. Giselle Bunchin and Tom Brady are finally, finally divorced. And the funny thing about it, the wild thing, again, we don't know these people personally, we don't know what's going on behind closed doors, but from what we can flip in guess, right? He, Tom Brady, chose football over his family which is absolutely wild to watch from the outside in really is wild because you hear a lot of things about people saying oh i'm you know when you're at work i'm really competitive i don't like to lose i'm all about winning blah 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 people take a people talk a big game about that kind of thing right it's a common thing here people say but when's the last time you heard somebody legitimately sacrificing their family for a sport for a profession for a career basically saying i'm going to choose this over you sometimes you can let the work make that decision for you but this is him categorically saying i'm deciding to take the football route as opposed to being the family man and the husband it's pretty wild but it goes to show why the guy's a go and why he maybe has that mamba thing that kind of you know switching his head where he's able to kind of just turn off and be this guy do you know what I mean? Like, it's absolutely wild because I think, weirdly enough, all guys wish they had that ability to have that switch in them. But most of us need companionship, right? We actually like our family. We might actually even be in love with our partners. So we kind of don't want to leave them to kind of pursue the sport thing. But I think a lot of dudes have this fantasy in their head that they could also do the Tom Brady thing and choose the love of the game over their partner. But most of us don't have the fucking luxury because we don't look like Tom Brady. We don't have his genetics, we're not as talented as he is. And we also don't have fucking Giselle Bunch and waiting at home on all fours. Do you know what I mean? That's not going to work. But I find the story absolutely fascinating. In this currency of TMZ, let's read the, the original story here. It said Joe Bunch and Tom Brady are officially done. TMZ Sports has learned that the supermodel just filed for divorce from the NFL superstar. And her filing from divorce is a big hint because I think the common story out there is that um, he retired and then he unretired. And the common story is that she said, Hey, I'm going to support you for as long as you want because he's you now he's playing into his 40s or whatnot. But once you retire, that's it done. And I want you to be a family man. I want you to come back home. I want you to be a dad. I want you to be a husband and be present, you know, and just be around. Because I'm assuming when you're a football player, same way as you play soccer, you have to be in fucking camp the whole time. You're playing most of the year. You can't exactly go to fucking Chuck E. Cheese and shit. You have to kind of watch your diet. You can't go to certain places. You got to sleep early. You, you know, you're basically a professional athlete. So she's basically saying, hey, once you're finished, you're finished. And I guess... Um, when he was finished, he decided that he wasn't finished and went to come back. And that obviously was the fucking final straw. But I'm sure they also had a conversation after where they was like, hey, do you really want to make this decision? Is this really what you're going to do? And he basically thought about it and we came back the next day and was like, yep, I chose football over you. Kiss, kiss, bye bye. Crazy. A bunch, a bunch of, um, just filed docs on Florida in Friday morning and Tom is not contesting the divorce. TMZ broke the story that Tom and Giselle lawyers were hammering out the settlement during most of the month of October and had reached an agreement on property and child custody. The settlement documents were filed in the court as well, but will remain confidential. Tom says, yeah, this is this is Tom's statement, right? And they, I also find it funny that they both posted it on their Instagram stories, not on their actual Instagram posts. I wonder why that is. Is that a PR thing because you want to keep your Instagram feed 
free from that kind of family drama so that brands can sponsor you and have their iPad. Because I guess if you if you're selling your fucking Instagram squares to companies, they maybe don't want to be the post that comes after the fucking divorce announcement, and maybe that's why. But I just find it interesting that you're on Instagram. Anyway, continues. Tom Brady's statement. In recent days, my wife and I find us are divorced from one another after 13 years of marriage. We received, so we arrived at this, this decision amicably and with gratitude for the time that we spent together. We were blessed to, um, with beautiful and wonderful children who will continue to be the center of our world in every way. We will continue to work together as parents and always ensure that they receive the love and attention they deserve. We arrived at this decision to end our marriage after much consideration. So clearly there was a conversation they had after the first retirement. Doing so is, of course, painful and difficult. Like it is for most, for many people who go through the same thing every day around the world. <laughs> Try to normalize it and leave us alone. However, we wish only the best for each other as we pursue whatever new chapters in our lives are that are yet to be written. And we kindly ask for privacy and respect as we navigate what is to come in the days and weeks ahead. Thank you. So pretty cold and detached and also saying, hey, leave me the fuck alone. Giselle's one, even shorter, actually. With much gratitude for our time together, Tom and I have amicably finalized our divorce. My priority has always been and will continue to be our children who I'm in love with all my heart. We will continue to co-parent with them, giving them the love and care and attention they greatly deserve. The decision to end the marriage is never easy, but we've grown apart. And while... And while it is, of course, oh, she actually says here, we have grown apart. And while it is, of course, difficult to go through something like this, I feel blessed for the time we had together and only wish the best for Tom always. Tom, you know, I've kindly asked for our privacy to be respected during a sense of time. Thank you, Giselle. Crazy, man. You don't see this too often. High level athlete choosing fucking the sport of the family and from what i know or what i've read online about tom brady's fucking stint at this team it's not gone well um you know he's come back from i think from an injury or whatnot so it's not as if he's come back and he's going to be going straight into the fucking super bowl it's still going to be a difficult slog for him to continue but look how amazing they look man that's a fucking textbook you know, couple there, you know what I mean? Both at the pinnacle of whatever, you know, sector they're in, making bank, living an extravagant, lavish life. And Tom was like, nah, man, nah, I'm going to go somewhere else. You know what I mean? I'm going to continue doing this football team. You can look after the fucking thing. And I'm just thinking in my head, is there anything I'm legitimately obsessed about, so driven about that I would legitimately choose it over my family if I had one? I can't think of something. That would absolutely make me think, you know what? I'm going to abandon my family for this. Like, my family doesn't matter. Family, who needs that? Family, what are these words? I can't think of anything, actually, to be honest. So it must be a whole different world to have that in you, to have that fucking drive in you, to have that single-mindedness in you, to be all about the sport and nothing else absolutely matters. It must be weird, like really, really, really weird, um, especially for the family and the people around him because you know where his heart really lies you know what his absolutely priorities are and unfortunately if you're not a you know a fucking you know almond shaped ball you're not going to be the priority there he wants to be able to fling that ball as far down that fucking football pitch as accurately as he can into the arms of fucking running backs and what else running around and shit and win more ring support on his finger that's what he absolutely lived for and uh, whatever it may be. And it kind of makes sense anyway, because when you saw him celebrating the Super Bowl they won before, how he was getting so smashed and happy and, you you know, he doesn't necessarily show much emotion, Tom Brady, but you could see he was really loving it, right? Being amongst his teammates, you know, fucking lifting up the trophy, having a drink, need needing to be held up by his friends and fucking teammates probably, he was loving it like that wasn't that didn't look like somebody who was happy and willing or you know was okay with the decision to go back home and be the fucking dad you know what i mean he wanted to be out there in the field with his fucking compadres and making that work and he came to a decision that hey i'm gonna move man i'm gonna move you can look after them damn kids or as that fucking what's that jordan me minute fuck them kids and he kept on bouncing but one absolutely crazy story man and I saw that, I was like, wow, this guy legitimately did it. He legitimately said, nah, you can keep the family. I'll keep doing the thing that I'm doing here. So big up Tom Brady in that regard.